When you are ages 17 and 27, the last thing on your mind is possibly having cancer. Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department employees and their family members have certainly had their fair share of experience with the disease. Chase McMahon, the son of MFRD Captain Kurt McMahon, recently lost his battle, while shift commander Daryl Alexander's daughter, Jenna Lee Beasley, just began hers. So MFRD thought of a way to help. We're actually having a blood drive in honor of one of our shift commander's daughters. Her name is Jenna Lee, and she was diagnosed with MDS cancer back in September. And we're also having it in memory of one of our captain's sons, um, and he actually passed away from several different forms of cancer last October. Many people don't realize how important blood is during treatments. According to the American Red Cross, cancer patients need blood sometimes even daily during their chemotherapy treatments. A lot of times we get caught up in the treatments, the radiation, the chemo, and we overlook the need for blood. McMahon says his son may have lost the battle, but that fuels him even more to help others going through the same thing. The message we want to get out is the amount of blood transfusions that everybody requires to battle the effects of these treatments. Uh, he received well over 30 plant, I mean, blood transfusion. So we're here to help awareness with the need for blood and to try to get as many people come in and help fight this battle. There are still ways to help these families. You can donate blood or find out if you can be a bone marrow match. Jenna Lee was diagnosed with MDS September 16th at the age of 26. It's a very rare cancer for someone so young. The um, average diagnosis is at 62 years of age. So she's currently undergoing chemo. She's had to have multiple blood transfusions and platelet transfusions because of this cancer and her plate, platelet levels and blood levels are so low. At just 27, Jenna Lee has found herself in desperate need of a bone marrow transplant. MFRD and several other public safety agencies hosted bone marrow drives with over a thousand people being added to the National Registry eager to be a match for Jenna Lee. Unfortunately, with a requirement of a 9 out of 10 matching system, there has been no successful match to date. We just want to say that, you know, we're so thankful that we do have the support that we do from the community, especially for our fire families. If you wish to donate blood, you can visit redcross.org. Or if you want to join the Bone Marrow Registry, you can visit bethematch.org. You can keep up with Jenna Lee's progress on her Facebook page called Jenna's Journey. Reporting for City TV, I'm Cecilia Harrell.